So basically, if all of you did not see yet, next patch with the cane nerves, Q locks out items during animation for, you know, profane hydra. I think it's gonna work for all hydras. So as you can see, this is what the combo is gonna look. This is before and this is after. So you're not gonna be able to do this in animation anymore, which is gonna kind of nuke this item. So we're not gonna really be building profane anymore, but I'll show you guys what we are gonna be building. So, okay, boys and girls. So with profane getting gutted, it's time to show you what we're gonna be doing. Nerfs aside, I'm not that worried. We're gonna be taking blue smite instead. We're gonna be taking probably trinket here because we're up against a hecarim. He's gonna AFK farm. I want to kind of punish him. Uh, we have treasure hunter. We have cosmic inside. We have magical footwear. So things are looking pretty a lot different. We're not gonna be running a genius hunter anymore because we're not gonna be going profane. So we're not really gonna synergize with all those item actives. Uh, cosmic inside is gonna be good for how high tempo we're gonna play. We're gonna be playing very aggressive so we're gonna be making a lot of plays around the map instead of looking to farm a lot so it's gonna be a di bit of a different play style a bit of a different itemization but i think blue can will still be pretty good so first things first we're gonna get a ward here and we're gonna go start a raptors now keep in mind my clear this game is gonna be very specific for this hecarim for any afk full clear jungler this is the clear i like to do I do have a good amount of videos on pathing, so if you guys want to check that out, or most videos, I try and explain what I do as I go, and we're going to do that this game, so. Well, hello there, ward. Remember I said I was going to look for something aggressive early? Maybe not anymore, because this guy just got a ward on me. But what I can do is I can farm a lot. So normally, what I would do is I would go raptors and invade, because, but because there's a ward right here, I might actually not do that. I'm going to do uh, raptor start full clear. A raptor start full clear is pretty good. The difference between a raptor start full clear and a normal full clear is normal full clear you have a lot more time to gank in the early game but let's go so notice how i don't do my red here i do my crux instead and this is for a very good cause the cause of this is because whenever i go to farm my raptors and krugs next time i don't have to wait you know because when you kill raptors red krugs you have that time in between where you don't really have anything to do right so now we don't have to wait pretty sick right So, normally, people would get their W at level 3, but if we're going to play to full clear and we're going to play to farm a lot, we're actually going to get a 2 in our Q. And I'm going to ping out this area, because I'm pretty sure Hecarim started topside, and that's why they put an early one of my raptors. Just using, uh, probable cause and jungler intuition right now to kind of determine where Hecarim is. Also, just noticing that the waves really shoved in. Ball lane dying to a double support lane is kind of scary. Look at, like, maybe flat game play. Yeah, what's up, Domo? Wait, are you done with Bingus already? And time flies. Actually, I forget. I've been streaming for a couple hours. Dude, I gotta watch all these. I'm a YouTube viewer, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Unless you start streaming at like 3 a.m. <laughs> I'm a YouTube viewer, bro. Sometimes I'll keep the stream open on the second bond, though. No. It's for the NQ. NQ entertainment. No spoilers on what happened in the games today, man. I hope you popped off though. Alright. Um, I should actually just stop the scuttle and just run here immediately. Oh, I missed that. That's my fault. Yeah, no, I'm not going for the wave. I'm just going to look for the scuttle. If Azir wants to come, like genuinely, it's a free kill. He didn't go. You shouldn't have a smite though. Like, actually, you should not. I have full HP in a pot here too. Oh, he did have smite. Wow. Okay. Well, I can still get Raptors and Krugs here. It's all good. You know what I can do? Okay, this is actually going to be like kind of outplaying him by his own, like. Kind of dealing his own blade back to him, you know? Is that he, notice how long he's staying on the map, and no, notice how much he's playing for CS. So he's one of those junglers that just tries to stack as many resources as he can and try to 1v9. Playing that, like, Dantes-esque play style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch him off tempo, because the number one thing you need to do is you always need to be at the right places at the right times. So if you watch, like, a Gurren or Dantes, or even me, I play kind of like that play style too myself, but... You always need to be at the right place at the right time. So the fact that he has all this leverage and he's not immediately getting all the grubs 
things that I actually have the advantage because you want to use your leverage when you're playing to soak up all the resources to get as much for your team, you know? So getting objectives, you know, stuff like that. Oh wow, he ran here immediately. Okay, I gotta back up then. I still got the first grub though, that's good. Damn, he ran immediately to the grubs there, that's crazy. All right, so instead of we're going like team at first item, we're just gonna go Yumus. Maybe I should just went for one and backed up, honestly. I forget, he could just get tier two boots rush and just go. Uh, it's kind of sad, we could have GG'd this guy, but fine. I got two kills to start the game. I can't really be upset about anything, you know? I'm, I'm pretty pretty good start myself. Only thing is, is that um, you get a gank off in top and mid. I have applied pressure there, but mid got a solo kill, so that's good for us. I could just full clearing down, so he's gonna be like around this area. He gets a kill here. Nice. Okay, so notice I'm getting my camps towards this bot side. You always wanna make sure that you're looking to like move immediately. You don't wanna like hesitate a second. You wanna be exactly at the play. So as jung being a jungler, you always need to make sure that, like I said, right place at the right times. But I just gonna look to get the dragon soon so i'm probably gonna control it on this at some point i mean get getting words on this camps too is not a bad idea yeah, we could definitely put something on her actually not right now but eventually yeah right here right here right here we have first move on him right so don't go too crazy yeah, he doesn't even try to chow me because he knows that I just have full control. Might have seen me on, on this minion though, which is kind of bad because he might set the dragon. Okay, I can go up and poke him, but my team really should not. Because I can get out really easily because I'm cave and uh, I don't know if my team can. Okay, he saw my control one. It's fine. Okay, not bad, not bad. This is actually looking like a kill angle on the Renekton. If you're ever going to want to try and gank a top laner like a Lowey or Darius or Renekton, always need to make sure post 6 that you have Ignite. You have to have Ignite. There's no way you're ever going to kill them. If they're good, like if they're even horrible, you just need Ignite. If they press their R, it's going to be very hard to kill them, so. Okay, we're going to get our tier 2 smite here, which is not bad. Once the Zero has his ulti up, I'm going to look at this CD. We could maybe look for a play in mid. I assume that she has no flash. I didn't get pinged on anything, but because I got a solo kill, I assume that she has none. So right now, because she put a ward there, I could actually could look for a reset, get you moves, and just scurry back up. Or scurry back down. Bot side, and look for like a play. Oh, Soraka also has no flash. So one of the most important things you want to do as a jungler is always make sure you're paying attention to the subs. So yeah, first item we're going to be getting is you moves, and then we're going to be looking to get Axiom Mark. You moves is going to be good for the early game to just move around the map quicker. You got an earlier buy, an earlier spike, and that way you can be a little bit more uh, aggressive. Like I said, this is a tempo build, so you're going to have to play a little bit more tempo. It's very hard because I'm playing against Hecarim, who has infinitely better tempo, I would say, in the early game. But, you know, that's the whole premise of Kane is you have weak tempo early because you have no form. And when you get your form, that's when you get to start playing high tempo, right? You're going to get a kill there. And now this is where we're going to look for that kill. Yourselves. Nice. Now we can maybe look for a play in bot. Invade first and then play in bot because invade punishes the Hecarim and then the play in bot. What's my team? The thing is, if he goes for the play, should have some advantage, right? Also, just like solo dive. Yeah, I'm gonna take the plan away too. He is red, so he probably goes there first, unless he's just killing in this push. Oh, okay, we get him. You missed out on this big wave. Let me get a couple bonks here for the the plate. Look how close we are to our form. Okay, he's 100% going to look for the grub, so right now I'm just going to take all of his bot side and get the dragon. So, even though it's not good to give all the grubs, as long as you get one, that's all you need. So that's what I talked about, being at the right place at the right time. That is an insanely big objective if you get all six. If you get five, it's still good, but losing out on your bot side, and then losing out on the dragon, I wouldn't say is as good. Then if I could also just play towards my bot lane, I think everybody could come to a bit of a, an agreeance and say bot lane's the most OP role. And bonus points for Kane here. Two people bot lane equals double the orbs. And second bonus is I'm playing blue Kane. Double range champ equals double blue orbs, which is the exact form I want to go. Right? Yeah, they got a ward here. So he probably is going to run straight here. So if I actually run straight to my top side, I could actually maintain like a CS advantage over him. 
Look how much CS he got from uh from lanes though. He's just taxing his laners a frick ton right now. Cause he, I'm up two camps on him, but he has 13 more CS. Pretty wild. Yeah, he, he can't chow me if he. That's why I kited to the right because if he tries to chow me out here, I have a zero rotate. And he doesn't know what zero CD is. That's why even paying attention to something like an old CD is just as important. So look, now he's in the bot side and I'm following him, trailing him. He has no camps and he also has no ult because I know his ult is gonna be down for like another 20, maybe 30 seconds at most. Actually, no, he has air anyway, it's gonna be up soon. It's gonna be up real soon. So they gotta back the heck up, like right now. Ghosting immediately. That's my bad. Okay, cool. Let's get some poke. That's good. One for one. And Dark Harvest stack. And look at that. Be huge, right? Are you not intrigued right now, Twitch chat? Be honest. I'm out tempoing a Hecarim first form Kane. Give me some credit, boys. Give me some credit. Give me some credit. He has no dragon. He didn't get six scrubs. I have more camps for him than him. I have more KP than him. Give me some credit. And this guy's good. He's a good Hecarim, too. He's actually he's giving me a come for my money here. Right, we're going to prioritize damage. Because you have you moves, you actually don't need to get your tier 2 boots early. You can honestly go like up to three items without getting your tier 2 boots. Alright, walk in, get, get the Krux, maybe look for a top play. I can kill this guy if I run straight top. One for one, good. Okay, so we're gonna clear these Krux. And now this is where I can make this game mine. Okay. Flash perfect, this is exactly what I want to see. By the way, this is Karasmai, unironically win no, this I can game. use my ulti. Love you, Karasmai. Love you too, buddy. Dodge that Q. All right. Uh -huh. I'll show you what the hell tempo looks like, baby. I'll show you what tempo looks like. So this is exactly how you're gonna be playing Kane. It's new, uh, new patch. And you got no flash, right? So I save my ulti, get the dragon. I still got my ulti. So if this guy tries to chow me, I'm gonna ulti, go inside of him. Easy. He doesn't have his ulti. His ulti's gonna be down for like another 30 seconds. Maxing W second? Nah, maxing Q. Q, 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 Q. We're maxing Q for both red and blue this next patch. I had to explain in my red video, but uh, oh, close. Uh, okay, a little bit dangerous. Okay, good. Good save. If they try and chow this, it's a little bit dangerous. Three camps farmed over this guy. Keep counting, boys. Keep counting. Remember. He has faster tempo than me, but I'm playing his own game and I'm beating him at it. That's what proper pathing does for you. And I still have my ulti, so I'm not going to reset till I use my ulti. Normally it's good to like reset and then use your, or after you use your ulti. That way you can kind of like just wait out that duration. Oh, just chill, 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 chill. Okay, I'm coming. I have no ignite, so this is a little bit dangerous, but. Okay, just chill, chill. I could have 1v1 the Hecarim there, but I think it's actually smarter I don't. Oh, what the hell is that about? Yeah, the reason I'm not face checking is because I don't know where Lux is. Sweet. So just being at the right place at the right time. That's why we say, if you're going to play high tempo, you know, the Dantes, the Agurin, maybe even the Karis my play style, the number one thing I'm going to preach to you guys that I never hear content creators or junglers preaching is if you want to play the solo carry, you have to be at the right place at the right times. You have to know which objectives are worth. You have to understand the value of every single play. It requires pure knowledge. I just filled my queue over the wall. See, no mechanics, pure knowledge. Learn from me, boys, learn from me. And because I filled my queue over the wall, I couldn't be here instantly. Hey, look, something as simple as that could like punish me that hard. And you're gonna die. I'm gonna have to use my ulti for you, buddy boy. But I will use my ulti for you. And you don't have flash, do you? I don't have flash, do you? Use my E to dodge that. Oh, I looked death right in the eyes and I said, you're coming with me. And look at that. I have seven camps farmed over this guy. Four CS in him now. He took 20 minions, 20 lane CS. He wants to help me with the uh, the objective here, so I'm going to do it with him. Normally, I wouldn't do this unless he had he helped me, right? Because it's, it's not worth it. It's, it's, it's not time efficient. That's what we'll call it. It's not time efficient. Breathe. 
Let's reset. See, now I'm gonna reset, wait for my LP duration. I'm gonna get Last Whisper, and we're gonna go you, and we're gonna go this. And I didn't get my control word because I don't have fast enough APM. Like I said, man, I'm bad. Pure brain, no mechanics, man. Old Karis my buys the controller there, but it's okay. We're washed a little bit. We start glazing a little bit. Right, let's farm all of our camps. If she goes down here by herself. I'm gonna go murder. Go oh, Hydra Rush. Yeah, Hydra Rush is uh, getting taken away next patch. This is gonna be the new build, my boy. It's gonna be the new build. Gonna zoom away, Jesus Christ. Who made ghosts a thing, especially for bot laners, man. Who made this a thing? Criminal. And that's how you play high tempo. More profane. Next patch is gonna get him, my boy. Good hit. And I'm tax. All right. Mid. What is that rift mid? In order to crack this early game into mid game, we gotta take all the T1 towers down. I've been hitting the jail. I look more muscular than before. You know what, man? A lot of people have been typing this in chat, and I just want to say, you guys make my freaking day, man. Thank you. I'm I'm very skinny, and I uh, I don't know. I, I don't work out that much, but like. I, I work out when I can, and it's nice that you guys know it. I'll go back there for the double. <gasps> no! You <laughs> It's fine. And kills him. Never mind, Azir kills him. Good job, Azir. I should have flashed her Q. I knew I should have flashed her Q. The reason why I didn't want to flash there is because I knew I was dead already. I was like, okay, what's the point? Honestly, it's worth not to flash there because my team still got the kills and I hold on to my flash. Because it was I was just dead. Even if I flash here, Hecarim's gonna kill me after. Ugh. Yeah. No, I would it was just bad positioning. That's my fault. I could have flashed her key though, I should have. It would have looked cool at least. I stream on one monitor, you two on the other. Yeah, that's gonna be a tuber. Say hi to your future self, Mr. Ragnar. It's that future blue cane build. All right, let's go for the dragon. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, bro. Give me the hook. Can't grab it if you're silenced. Ow, oh, and I filled my Q over the wall. Oh my god. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I got my ulti coming up. Hit this slow. Get my ult CD. Go with the minions a little bit. Ooh! 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 Ulti. Axi mark. Boom. Nice. That's how OP Axie Mark is. Alright, let's go for invade. Remember, tempo, tempo, boys. When you make a play, when they're all dead, take as much as you can. Punish, punish, punish. Some people like to punish, some people like to be punished. And I always imagine the enemies like to be punished, so I just do as much as I can the enemies. I play this logic a lot. Okay, big invade. So, look, now he just slowly, like that's CS. He was going toe for toe with me in CS. He actually had a 20 CS lead on me. And now, look at the CS. He's farming, he's trying to farm as many waves as he can to keep up. I'm going to be 10 CS per minute. 901 dude's eating good, bro. You got to play some blue cane, Domo. I got you, bro. If you ever want to get into blue cane, let me know. Free a charge, free a charge. The man with goaded Elder Ring content, I have to. I always tell streamers, if they ever want to learn Kane, just ask me. The only coach I'll ever do is for streamers, because then I'll get more Kane mains, you know? Because then they'll, like, play Kane to their audience, and I'll just, like, infest the minds 
And uh, listen, dude, I could care less if they all come to me. Like, obviously, it'd be nice to get more viewers, but like, it's not even for that. I just want more Cade mains out there. I want more Cade mains wreaking havoc out there, you know? I want people on a freaking warpath, you know? I want them going crazy, just dominating, tormenting, destroying. Because Cade mains are the main character. They really are, you know? I know I am. Oop. See you later, sexy girl. I didn't even need to ult you. I just ulted her for funsies. I probably shouldn't have done that, but... Okay, let me just go for this guy because I can't reach her. Dude! Dude! Oh, man. I am... <laughs> Trade me? Wait, Sully, you actually want to? I'd, I'd be down if you really wanted to. Let me know. How you get your main nerfed? Hey, listen. Sometimes he's nerfed, sometimes he's not. He's not getting that big of a nerf, honestly. He's still going to be good. Like I said, with his build, he's going to be good. Uh, his ulti nerf isn't that really big. It's, it's, it's a little bit nerfed to his scaling, but early game, it'll be like 20 damage for his ulti. It's not going to be that bad. It'll be fine. Look at my dead body, bro. This is me. This one looks like when you're an intern, man. The thing is, I used Edge of Night last patch a lot as a crutch. So I do I do die a little bit more for free. You know, so I'm, I'm playing a little bit more silly. You can definitely notice my play style. I, I definitely die a lot more for free. Yeah, but it's, it's okay. It, it's good because I view like the free deaths as like a learning experience. Like, okay, you can't be that stupid. You know, you can be as stupid, but not that stupid. Actually, all right, let me know. I'm down whenever. Got you. What was this? This is going to be the new best blue cane build. I actually mentioned this build a while ago. And there, there, there's going to be a little bit of flexibility. There's going to be some other builds that can work, but I think this is going to be the overall most consistent best blue cane build. So whenever I, I make a best build, keep in mind, it doesn't mean that all other builds are obsolete. It just means that this is going to be the most consistent build. This is going to be the one that I recommend people to use most. There's definitely situations where, oh, what about Hubers? Yeah, no, Hubers can be great. Um, what about, you know, Opportunity? Yeah, Opportunity can be great. I think majority of games, you're going to want to rock this play style. You're going to want to rock this build. And majority, I mean, like, a lot. Like, I'm talking like situationally swapping your itemization is only like if you're really ahead then you get like hubris or something or you know, if, if you prioritize oh I said that I don't the nerf next patch okay so at this point of the game boy yo, yo I had to dodge the whole piece there as yeah, they're missing that all is kind of unforged but it's okay he has his W up, so I can kill. Oh, maybe. Definitely need the anti oil here. Okay, let me tell the boys, honestly. Let me tell the boys here. Boys are back in town. Okay. Okay, maybe keep going in. Yeah, look how much you can keep the plays alive here. When is scaling, bro? I told you, Gwen. I believed in you, bro. I believed in you. Freaking beast, bro. That's why you always gotta be hyping up your teammates. Cause listen, sometimes they'll go like one eleven, but sometimes they'll they'll like just pop off, you know? They'll int early, but then they'll pop off for you. But if you like flame them when they're down, they're demoralized and they don't really like wanna like prove you they don't really wanna like, you know. Boom! I didn't need to flash, I just wanted to do it to the same time. Oh, we get dragon. Remember, always stack objectives when you have advantages. Go for invades. Go for objectives. Get crazy. Go profane. Yeah, profane instead, guys. Profane instead. It's still gonna be like buildable. Obviously, it gives lethality. It gives a lot of damage. But it's not gonna be an item that I recommend getting. It's not gonna be an item I recommend getting at all. Similar like Manamian, I don't recommend getting Manamian. It's not that it's unplayable or unbuildable. It's just un. It's just lower stats. It's lower value. If you can't use profane mid Q, it loses a lot of its value. You can still clear fast with it, like you can still utilize it in good ways, but. Would I consider, a, do I consider a streamer? Um, what do I consider a streamer? I don't know. Somebody with an audience, <laughs> I don't know. Someone that I've watched before. Those are the, those are the people I usually offer coaching to. It was like, I watch a lot of streams, to be honest, but. 
Oh, I was going for that greedy W on uh, Senna. I went right in Renekton's face, let him W me. Because I knew I could precast my Q and get out of the way. Holy Zoli, my boy. That's a little ischios. Yo, what I cannot dive as hard as you. That actually feared me. God! What are you doing, senor? Please come to me. Please come to me. What? That misses! In what world? I still got her. I still live! That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's the limit this special. You're... How did my W miss the Senna, by the way? How did my W miss that guy? Just hoping his ear get better. Alright. Alright, so... I think I need to get anti-heal, because no one on my team's getting anti-heal. Yeah, I'll get it. Normally you don't want to get an anti-heal as an assassin, because your job is to burst, not to like, anti-sustain. But because I'm kind of poking a lot, as long as I get my blue buff and I just poke him out, it should be vibing. When I have my flash up, it should be vibes. Should be able to just one-shot their backline, we can get Baron and maybe end. I always think about using your sums for something like, very advantageous, so like... Use your flash to get a pick so you can get Baron, or use your flash to get a pick so you can get an inhib. When you're in like mid to late game, you always want to like make sure you're using the... You know, make sure you're like getting the full amount of... Like maximize your gains, right? Maximize your gain. And yeah, I really don't want to be the one to get anti but sometimes you just have to, you know? I immediately lost my GA. You know how many times I do that? I'll buy GA and just immediately lose it. Such a cade main thing to do. Axi mark, so we can go booming. Don't even need to use my flash there. Like your position. Pretty bad when you play Kane, whoever you struggle with, man. I ban Poppy, but I don't know how much you see Poppy in your ELO. Alright, yeah, we can go for uh going mid doesn't do anything. Go for bot, honestly. Bot and hips is probably smarter. So you can go for bot and then we can go straight top. Yeah, yeah. Don't go top. Oh, don't go mid. Unless we're gonna like end mid right now. We're not. Yeah, just go top bot. No one wants to listen to macro. Yeah, you always want to make sure you're getting as many inhibits as you can. Don't just get. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, instead of getting three, we get two. It's fine. We got more, but it's whatever. We might get a tower here too, which is good. Ah, nice try, nice try. Better be safe than sorry. I could definitely go in and kill her, but I'm just gonna be chill. Come on, one more auto. I nice, sweet. PD. But. Okay, they can't do it. Their life, they go in. Oh, good. Collector good for blue. No! Please never build a collector. Please. I can't even get an Elixir of Wrath. I had to wait like legit five seconds, but that's how fast we have to play here, because I don't want to give this dragon for nothing, right? I'm gonna flash in like a maniac, because if I kill him, we just win. Go on, keep going. I love what you're doing, Gwen. Thank you, my boy. You're a freaking beast, bro. Good macro. Okay. Stall. Yeah, I might just give this, but like. You know what I mean? Like, steal it, and I get the kill. You know what I mean? Like, it's vibes, boys. It's vibes. Don't worry. Chill. It's so chill. It's so chill. Come here, horsey. GG's. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out, YouTube.